Hey everybody, want to welcome you to 5 for a Change. Today what we're looking at is how Google tracks you and you might not know it. And also all the things that Google tracks you on. There's a long list of what they track you on. These were the three that I noticed the most. The first one being location of the places you're at. Then it sends you suggestions about that place. Reading your Gmail emails and sending you a notification of bills or whatever it read in your email. This is the one that kind of irritated me the most was where your home is even if you've never put your address in. I'll explain this here in a second. Now please note, I never turned any of these things on. Auto update might have done it, but after a while I got tired of it and I turned them all off. The other thing that kind of irked me was when I used Google Maps, Google Maps would say, oh look, it looks like you stopped your time back to home is this and i'm like why is it giving me the option to go back home where i supposedly live which means they're tracking how long you stay at a place and that's what they call home for you which is interesting because i never set that up either so here's how you shut all that stuff off first off what you want to do is go into your google folder and this is an android you're going to click on google bring it up now these three little bars up here are how you're gonna to get to your customize section click on that go to customize once you go to customize you can see that all these topics are something that might be turned on but I was getting notifications about things I didn't even sign up for right here we have weather travel time <laughs> and updates were all turned on updates on traffic incidents and you can go in here and you can view all the settings but look at all these settings travel time to get home that was turned on and that was the one that I was trying to figure out why is it giving me a travel time to get home but all these in here were turned on and as you can see I never put a home address in my preferences but yet it seemed to be tracking how long I am at a place at a certain time and then that's what it calls home and I'm guessing it's tracking it at night because they figure your home is where you sleep so I went ahead and turned all that stuff off but they have places you click on this and it gives you notification for places which there isn't any extras under there bills gives you notification based on your Gmail read your Gmail I got one of those and I was like I never authorize them to read my email cooking flights parking sources travel feed updates etc etc all these were turned on and I had to turn them off because I was like uh, I don't really feel comfortable with Google reading my emails which I'm sure they already do but also saying oh hey your travel update for your time home which they were guessing wherever I was at for the longest they turned that on and it was coming up in Google Maps and I was like why is this coming up with Google Maps when I didn't put in my home address or anything else but right there these are all the things that Google might be tracking you with if you see a little thing come up and say hey we want to let you know that we know you're at this location here we want to offer you this well it's all in here you got to go in customize your feed hit done and there you go it updates your feed but that's just a short video real quick on how Google tracks you and how you can shut a lot of that off thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe let us know if it doesn't bug you that Google tracks you all the time or if it does bug you let us know that too See me down in the dirt, down the dirt. Next, see me on my knees. Yeah, I was hurt. Then they see you like a piece of toast. I'm I was burned, but they give it to me. These lessons were learned. Said, pick you up like a kick shot of the bull. Pull through it like a mule. Yeah, I will pull. Just adjust for pressure and weight.